The tile spinner was born out of my need for pottery bats on a budget. I bought a box of these cheap bathroom tiles, I made a little tool to hold it in place, and just started throwing in my garage. As someone who was just starting out, this system allowed me to buy a lot of bats and therefore get a lot of practice. This tile spinner is built around the most widely available tiles I could find in three different sizes. The 8 inch by 10 inch Satori hexagon tiles, and the 6 inch and 4 inch Restore Bright White Square tiles from Doll Tile. I'm including a set of spacers with every tile spinner. These ensure you get a snug fit even if the tiles you buy vary slightly in size. Don't worry, I always include extra spacers because sometimes things just disappear. Most bat systems are made with MDF or masonite board, which can warp with water damage over time. Our tile spinners are made with marine board. Now what is marine board? It's used in making boats, it's used in making outdoor decking, it's used in flooring, it's used in even cutting boards. It's crazy strong, UV resistant, and it won't be affected by any amount of water. In my opinion, our tile spinner is by far the most durable pottery bat system on the market. Now, when you're throwing, don't forget to put a little wet clay down on the wheel head before you put your tile down. This secures the tile tightly in place. You see, all commercially available tiles have these cool ridges at the bottom, which grip that wet clay and keep things from wiggling around. We've also included this cool pry tool to help you pull up and get tiles out quickly and easily. I like to use commercially available tiles from the hardware store because they're cheap. But if you want to go even cheaper, you can actually make your own tile bats for the tile spinner. All you do is slice or roll out a slab of clay, cut it to the correct size, dry it flat, bisque fire it, and you're ready to go. Now bisque fire tiles actually have an advantage over commercially bought tiles in that as your pot dries, it will naturally separate from the tile rather than having to be wired off. I'm really excited that so many potters have found the tile spinner helpful as they build out their studios. If you have questions about the tile spinner, leave them in the question section below and we'll get those answered. At Outpost Pottery, our goal is to help you become a better potter by creating innovative and practical tools. I'm MJ at Outpost Pottery. Thanks for watching and keep on learning. <laughs>